Hello my dear students, so we will see how to prepare the standard solution. So we will switch on the weighing machine by putting on. It will be already on. Okay. So here you can see the weigh is 0, 0.00 gram. We will first keep the butter paper here. And it is showing the weigh of the butter paper which is 0, 0.67 gram. First we will press the button 0 and the weigh, whatever the weigh of the butter paper is nil. It's 0 now. And now we will be weighing FAS. This is ferrous ammonium sulphate. And with respect to the calculation, we will be weighing 1.96 gram of FAS. So, student here, I have weighed 1.96, exact 1.96 gram of FAS. And I will be <coughs> pouring the entire FAS very carefully into a beaker. Just give a tap to the paper so that entire FAS should go into the beaker. And immediately, you have to add one test tube dilute sulfuric acid in this so we'll take one test tube dilute sulfuric acid by using a test tube and we'll be pouring into this now we will dissolve this and we will prepare the standard solution so here we have weighed 1.96 gram of fas and we have added in uh, we have dissolved with the sulfuric acid dilute sulfuric acid now we will dissolve so all this apparatus will be there on your table okay when you will be performing Make sure you have to wash all the apparatus before the beginning of the practical. So here the entire FAS which I have taken is dissolved in the sulfuric acid. Now you will be very carefully transferring that into the standard solution. All this apparatus is very important that first give a tap. We do not want a single drop of FAS should go down for on the surface. So very carefully just give a tap so that extra drop which is there on the glass rod it should go inside in the beaker and very carefully you have to slowly you have to pour you have to just dip the glass rod in the neck of the standard flask and you have to pour the entire chemical okay with the help of glass rod it will go down okay now we will be giving washing <coughs> we will be giving washing to this again give a tap like this and directly take into the beaker now i'll be washing this beaker thrice with the water so we'll take water washing number one this is washing number one okay and after every washing transfer the solution this is first washing and transfer give one more washing At least give free washing. Washing number two. Okay, then give one more washing, no more than three. So, three washing is enough. This is how you have to rotate the beaker and you have to wash, give a tap and put it into the standard flask slowly by pouring this is done now you have to fill water directly neck by using beaker so I will take little So till the neck we can fill directly. Now from here to this marking you can see the marking. Okay, when you will be using you can see the marking. So, so for the you will be adding with the help of pipette. So still more water is required, so I'll take more water. It is very important that the lower meniscus when you will add water so the lower meniscus of water should touch to that line as you can see here my standardization is perfect you can see there is a mark here and the lower meniscus is touching to that mark tangentially it is very important on the top and you have to make the solution homogeneous you have to stir the solution or swirl the solution like this at least 15 to 20 times you have to invert rather 
and this is how you are making the solution homogeneous so this is done so this is the first part of the standardized standard solution now student will move to the second part so student now let's move to the second part we will be filling camenophore in the burette so lower the burette slowly pour the camenophore and the first you have to rinse this camenophore with the with your rinse this burette with the camenophore like this and here also you have to rinse so you have to Mm -hmm. the contamination and whatever thing there is inside <coughs> we will throw that chemical you can remove like this also once this is done now we will again clamp the burette into the burette stand and now we will be filling the camenophore okay slightly near the top and it is very very important to remove the air bubble it is very very important so we'll switch on the knob and close and ensure that there should not be any air space or air gap or air bubble between this area after this is done you have to set the burette to zero this is little more than zero you can see here so we will remove little camino four okay and it is very important that upper meniscus should touch to zero so you can see not the lower upper meniscus should touch to zero and as you can see here now is upper meniscus touching zero so switch off the knob immediately okay so the second part is also moving to the next part student uh, we will be using the conical flask we will take 10 ml of solution in this by using pipette you have to first rinse this pipette with the solution fa solution the standard fa solution okay this is how you can rinse with that i have taken the came in this fas from here till here and after rinsing we will throw the chemical out okay so after Rinsing student, this pipette I have rinsed with the FAS. Now I will take 10 ml of FAS directly into the conical plus. So we will take the solution and your lower meniscus should touch to that marking for 10 ml. Okay. Ensure that you are using your index finger. You will not use the thumb. Okay. Hold the index finger tightly. when the 10 ml you have taken pour the entire 10 ml standard solution of fas into the conical flask this fas is having concentration 0.05 molar after taking student still i can see few drop is there you just touch the mouth of the pipette to the conical flask so that extra drop if it is there it will come down but do not blow the air from the top okay then do not forget to add h2so4 one test tube so take one test tube h2so4 and then you will start with the titration okay so you will be adding the chemino core till you will get the light pink color so initially you have to add more and continuously you have to swirl the solution it is not like you just open and will not swirl so that will give you a wrong reading you have to continuously swirl the solution and you have to stop a point where you will get a light pink okay so here slowly slowly that solution is turning little yellow pale yellow color you can see initially it was transparent now it is giving you more pink color so that means it is about to reach and you have to stop a point till you get a very very light pink color you can see this light pink color we want now student after getting the light pink light pink you can see the reading okay it is coming uh, between 11 ml to 12 ml so 11 ml to 12 ml will be the pilot reading 11 ml to 12 ml is will be the pilot reading and you have to read with the upper meniscus so here student this is 11 ml so this is 11.1 2 3 
always read the view rate from the zero. Zero is here. Zero to here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is eleven. Because few students they report as twelve point something. This is not twelve. This is not reach twelve. So this should not be twelve. This is eleven point. You have to see the upper meniscus. So this is around eleven point four or eleven point five. If you see closely, it is is eleven point four. So that will be your first trading. So likewise, you have to take total three view rate trading, and at least two readings should be constant, and that reading which is coming constant will be called as CVR. Followed by you will be doing the calculation, writing the observation and observation table in your answer sheet. Thank you so much.